All right, I'm going to take a look at my uh, wife's 2005 Honda Metropolitan. Um, she was saying that riding it, it was hard to uh, twist the throttle and go. So let's take a look. Take a look at the air filter. Let's see how bad this thing is clogged up. Uh, the air filter on this is on the left hand side if you're sitting on the seat. This is a big box above the kickstart. Cover up. Set that down. No. Looks like the air filter is it's fine. Let's tear into uh, the carb carburetor and uh, take a look at that needle jet. <clears throat> so let's put our air filter back on. Now, I mean, just in case you want to know, the, uh, the way these go on, you have uh, tabs on either side of the uh, filter. Uh, one tab goes to the lower left, the other tab goes to the upper right. And you just set it in there. going to inspect the... Uh, cover ports to make sure those aren't clogged. Those look pretty good. Maybe we can get, get a shot of that. See some daylight through there. But yeah, they look they look pretty good. Definitely not clogged and it's not dusty. There's no spider webs. Or anything. All right. I'm not going to screw it back in. I'm just going to uh, set it there until I'm happy with what we find. But to get to the carb, yeah, I, just, I don't know if you can tell, but you see all the pollen crap that we've had in the last couple of weeks. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty. Let's pop the seat real quick. And what we'll have to do is set this stuff aside. And um, remove these bolts. There should be four of them. One, two, Three and four. I think those are 10 millimeter. And then we'll need to remove the kickstand lock, which is just a, a Phillips head. Uh, we can leave that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, once once you get the bolts, I I leave mine in there. But once you got to loose, uh, uh, take your plastic co battery cover off. Remove the. Um, kickstand lock and it's keyed so um, when you remove it it's if you have it in the unlock position for your your stand you'll twist it um, to where it's locked I, I think that's it makes sense as by design I mean if you're gonna start disassembling this imagine you don't want the kickstand unlocked but um, <clears throat> once you do that just pull it out and on mine I wired in a, uh, a charge cable 
so I just have to be careful uh, when I'm pulling this off that I don't bind and, and pinch that as you What you'll see down here is, of course, your carburetor. And we'll go ahead and pop this cover off, take a look at it, <clears throat> clean the jet, see what's going on in there. This screw is starting to strip out. Oh crap, oh my god. Oh, that figures. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find my uh, bolt extractor. And we'll see if we can get that out. Be right back. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> Harbor Freight extractor set. Every toolbox should have one, or maybe two. Um, but here you go. All different sizes. I think we're probably going to use this one. Alright, in a perfect world, both these would come off and you'd be able to hold it uh, so the spring doesn't come out, but I'll back this out by hand. Hold it down so, then, so the spring doesn't go crazy, but 
don't know how good of a shot you can get of that, but it gave me enough bite where I could do it by hand. And I don't see any rust on this thing, but yeah, who knows? It could just just a crappy head, so I'll have to find another screw for that. But to continue with the, the video. Take the screw, set it aside, and carefully lift up on the cap, and there is a spring underneath it that you'll see right there uh, that, that goes on to this little nipple here. And we can take the spring, take the spring out. Don't lose that, it's important. diaphragm here and I can't remember uh, yeah, it doesn't matter just pull it out and there is your little needle jet right there but you'll notice there's a, a tab over here that correlates to uh, a tab down here, you of course want to set that in there and make sure that you're, you know, wow, I don't know if I showed you this, but you see how that needle jet has play, you know, goes in and out. That's where it was sticky. I noticed that it was stuck and just all around crappy, but seems to have some, some free play now. Okay. But just make sure uh, it's, it's, Hard to mess up, but this should go. There's a little hole down in there that I should fit in. And you'll, you'll know when it's in there because it'll just it'll fall right in. Just a little bit. Let's see if it'll sit on there. But if it doesn't, you can just hold it like that. And set it in there. Okay. Alright. It ended up being the needle jet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not find a new screw, so I used a little zip tie until um, I can run up to our bolt company here and get a new one. But uh, this will do. But once I clean that, um, it seemed to work just fine. There we go. And once you hit the throttle, wide open. I had to put this little zip tie on here uh, so that it would uh, have enough suction in there to operate the, the diaphragm for the uh, needle. But uh, give me questions or comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.